kid, it's funny, any parent knows this, you have kids, your kids are always your kids, no matter how old they get, they're your kids. I think I've learned that daughters may have a, a certain twist on this whole thing. Wow. All right, Dad, you can go to her. Great. Absolutely amazing. Been a long time coming, huh? Yeah. The daughter has a special place in the dad's heart. And, you know, you do father-daughter things. It's, it's all fun. And then when you least expect it, there's another young man vying for her time. <laughs> and that's, that can be good. You know, you want that. You want him to grow up. You want him to progress in life. But as a dad, you when it's a, another young man looking for to occupy time, you look with a keener eye. You, you kind of discern, you want to make sure that nobody, nobody's going to hurt your little girl. And that's, I think, a natural thing. It's not the whole... <laughs> I can see my 
I do remember the day that mom called me and said, you, you met somebody, you met a guy. And I don't remember what I said. Once again, I got to remember. I remember how I felt. Ready? <laughs> it's waterproof makeup. <laughs> got a hot fluid on. <laughs> I've never felt this way. If you've ever been in my situation, you, you might know the feeling as well. I just wanted to murder a complete and total stranger. I, I, I thought for sure, whoever this guy is, he's not good enough and I'm gonna have to kill him. Like, I'm not a violent person. But that's just, I think that's the, the big brother instinct kind of kicked in. Now, thankfully, I haven't had to kill Randy. <laughs> At least not yet, you know. I'm kidding, but only, only sort of. I haven't had to kill you yet. But uh, no, all kidding aside, not killing Randy's actually been really, really easy. So along came Randy. And then again, I, I, wouldn't, I didn't want to murder him right away. I didn't have that thought right away. <laughs> So we would never went there, but you know it was it was a, a case of kind of feeling each other out, getting to know each other, which was you know it was a process with any friend, any person that comes into your life. But when it's with your daughter, you, you give it a little extra thought. And uh, Randy Randy proved himself. It was he he's a fine fine young man. He has got a good heart. He has many fine qualities he is is i won't say son-in-law material because i think now especially since we've had the wedding it's just another son you're a member of the family you're with us and he's always had michaela's best interest and want and just cares for her and loves her and that has won him a place in my heart as well and besides the dogs all like him so <laughs> what what am i going to do now so i can't can't run him off with the dogs are we ready for this Brad, we will both. Absolutely. Randy, we waited 1,248 days for this day, and it's finally here. All the waiting is over. I've been praying for you in this moment since I was a little girl. For most of my life, you can turn around. I have felt invisible. I was a shy girl, the one who never talked, the one that no one ever noticed, until I met you. You saw me, you noticed me. Beautiful. And with you, I can be myself. Dear Michaela, today we are about to start our never-ending love story together. Ready? In some ways, it seems like it was just yesterday when we first met. Unless I'm at makeup too. Mm -hmm. It's hard to believe we have been together for five years already. As I'm sitting here writing this letter, I can't help but to smile thinking back to all the moments we have had together. From the first night we started talking, to the first time we danced, and our first kiss. our first date, I knew I was in for an adventure. For the past years, you've grown to be my best friend. The first person and last person I think about as the sun rises and sets. You've always reminded me about God's love and timing when days got tough. As scripture states, we love because he loves us first. has been a bigger and utterly most different meaning in my heart. As your wife, I promise to stand by you, love you unconditionally, and honor you as my husband. You are now my whole heart and my love for you carries on like Jesus. I know that there are not enough words that I can use to express the love I have for you. I'll spend my lifetime showing you that I will live the words I do today, tomorrow, forever and ever. Love your soon to be wife. I wish I could promise you that there would never be any struggles or challenges. We both know that life doesn't look that way, but I will promise you that I will walk beside you through all the good times and the not so good times. There are no words that I can put in this letter that would truly express my love for you. I will try to show you every day of our lives how much I love you and cherish you, and thank God for bringing our life together. Love, Randy. It's a great pleasure of pronouncing you to be husband and wife.
Yeah, guys, I, I've never been married. I'm not an expert. There's a lot more people in here who are better equipped to give you advice. But from what I've heard, it's the hardest thing you will ever do. Uh, but that being said, I know you too well. And you work so hard, but you love even harder. And if there's anything I think that will make a great recipe for a successful marriage, it's going to be that. Um, you're incredible people, and you can see a whole room of people here just to celebrate you too. And that speaks to just who you are and how important you are in our lives. And while marriage is insanely hard, and it's, as, as Larry said, you know, it's a verb. It's a practice you do every day. You've got to realize that you're not doing it alone. We're all here. We've all got your back. And today is the, is the first day of a very beautiful life you're going to build together. So if you got a drink, please hold it up to Michaela and Randy, my brother and sister. Uh, may the length of your marriage be exceeded only by the love that fills it. Look at each other for me. Perfect. Oh, I should be my love. Perfect. Hey, call me. Oh, what a night. I'm sorry, don't blame me. I've been trying to keep him doing this all along. <laughs> 